Go. Go? Oh my gosh, she just says go. Go, you told me to shut up. I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> really? I don't know. Yeah, you'll never You took over up. my party table with car parts again. I know, I know, because I've got an idea. I wanted to share it with everybody. All right, what is it? <clears throat> All right, so, <laughs> we're just being cool on a Friday. Happy Friday, y'all. Happy Friday. All right, so, a lot of people know that I've been building all sorts of different heat exchangers for the ZL1 platform that will work on the Cadillac CTSV models. But what I want to share with you guys is maybe most of you didn't know that if you have the A10, this is the heat exchanger that comes and it's mounted in the front panel of the car down below. If you have an M6, you'll see it's much smaller. The difference between these two is this is 82 square inches and this is 107 square inches of actual area that you have for airflow. But I'm excited about this because this is our new Patriot Motorsports heat exchanger. This has 114 square inches of just, just absolute badassery. It is gonna have a lot more cooling effect because it's ram air cooling. And this takes place of the engine's auxiliary cooler on the passenger side. It also has 36% more area and tubes and cooling than the CSF. That's, that's really important because this only has 25 tubes in it. This is 34 tubes in it. That's a big difference in contact area with volume of cooling your fluid. So whether or not you're using it for your heat exchanger, for your engine's cooling, or you're using it for your supercharger cooling, our new heat exchangers have 36% better cooling than the CSF brand. And then that's 48% better than stock. So that's a huge deal. So we'll have these for the superchargers, heat exchanger for the driver's side, and now we have them for the transmission. The cool part about this is when you go to our transmission heat exchanger, when you've done the oil, chain, the oil cooler, so that you do an oil cooler delete with our Porsche RSR kit, that also allows you to take the transmission cooling circuit out of the engine's radiator. It takes the water being heated up by the oil cooler out of the engine's radiator. And that's how we make this happen. The real benefit is for people who are serious about racing, serious about tracking their cars, you no longer have to use a splitter that's still venting air underneath the car. You can remove that entire factory bubble, uh, you know, drop down uh, closeout panel, and you can put a completely flat panel in there to make your splitter 100% more effective than it is right now. All right, Jenny, what okay. do you got questions for? Uh, put them in the comments, y'all. Put them in the comments. 